right. So for this summer, we, uh, we were tasked with connecting a wheelchair to the Internet of Things. And for our project, um, we decided the best way to do this was to attach a Galileo um, to, the, to the wheelchair. And we also wanted to connect, we wanted to collect three different pillars of data. So this, the Galileo collected data from the wheelchair itself. So voltage, current, temperature. Um, and then it was sent to the cloud using an Internet of Things gateway solution. Next, our second pillar was a biometric pillar. So this is a bio harness, and this was used to actually collect uh, data ranging from heart rate, posture, breathing rate, and the temperature of the person. So the wheelchair user wear this underneath their clothes and it would collect all those data points. Next, we used the Intel-based tablet to create what we called an access map. The access map would be used to uh, by the wheelchair users to map and show different accessibility waypoints throughout the town. So like, let's say there's a poor curb cut, which is where a sidewalk d has a cutout for a wheelchair, but let's say they can't get up it. It's too steep, it's broken, it might not even be there. So you say poor curb cut, and now it marks a waypoint that another wheelchair user can click on, showing where it is, what time, and they'd be able to use this to find out what's accessible in the town and where they could go so that way they could uh, get into stores and what stores are best for them. So, um, do you want to do this in one take or what do you want me to? Yeah, well, after that we will could. All right, awesome. So, the wheelchair itself, um, it's just a standard wheelchair on the market, but what we did is we created a platform. The platform can be added to any wheelchair um, and nearly anything else and just collect data and stream it. So, all we're using is an Intel Galileo. We did six weeks of user testing and we did three wheelchair users and put the whole system on their chair, bio harness, tablet, everything. And we collected the data and we're able to show the data right here. So this is a live stream of data from the wheelchair. So obviously it's not doing very much right now. Um, <coughs> sorry. And then it just talks about it, but one second. He's gonna log back in, sorry. So this is what's called data sense, and it can be used, it's used to kind of show the meaning behind historical data. So we have a mentor on a project named Pete Denman, who's actually a wheelchair user who created this. And so you can go back and see different points and see like, at a certain time, you see like, let's look at the red. So my angle was different than normal, so it's probably going up a slope or something like that. I'm able to go back through my day and kind of self-diagnose and be part of the whole quantified self movement. So like, let's say I want to, show different kinds of things like right, like different days and our data. So let's say we don't want that data. And look, so now it'll change and render and bring this all up. So each of these petals will represent a different kind of data. And then this, this would be like your days, how many days you have. And then this is the time of day. So you realize like, let's say right here. So we're able to bring it up and show that at what time what time so at 6 p.m. on July 24th um, our angle is 3.95 degrees and let's say you had a major angle the wheelchair flip you'd be able to look back and see this um, and be able to self-diagnose and like I say be part of the self quantified self movement and that's kind of the rundown of the project um, it's been very successful it has even been endorsed by Stephen Hawking as you saw in uh, Brian Krasanich's keynote thank you awesome